The French and Indian War, also called the Seven Years' War by the English, was part of a major struggle between European powers. The Thirteen Colonies was all British territory. Everything west from the colonies was French territory. The French and British soldiers always fought for control of the Ohio Valley. The Ohio Valley was very important. It provided fur traders access to cities and ports on the East Coast. The war began because Britain felt they needed to prevent the French from gaining control over trade and territories that the British thought were rightfully theirs. In the 1740s, aggressive Pennsylvania traders began to infringe on the territory. Adding to the tensions, a group of enterprising Virginians formed the Ohio Company in 1747 and advanced on the same land. In response, the French sent soldiers to build a series of military forts to secure their trade routes and to create a western barrier to American expansion. In 1753, Lieutenant Governor Dinwiddie of Virginia ordered 21-year-old George Washington on a mission deep into the Ohio country to confront the French. Dinwiddie's commands were to chase the French away but without attacking them. In the spring of 1754, Washington set out with 160 Virginians and a small group of Mingo Indians, equally concerned about the French military presence in the Ohio country. There were shots fired, but no one knows who shot first. While George Washington lacked in communication with the French commander, the Mingo Indian and his men intervened to kill and then scalp the wounded soldiers including the French commander. This sudden action violated Dinwiddie's instructions to Washington and increased the tension between the British and the French. George Washington was afraid that the French would attack back. He ordered his men to throw together a makeshift for necessity. The Mingo Indians had lost confidence in George Washington. They said he had no experience in being a leader and left. Soon after, Washington's fears became true. Retaliation from 600 French soldiers, aided by 100 Shawnee and Delaware warriors, attacked Fort Necessity. About one-third of Washington's men were either killed or injured. Washington was forced to surrender. By 1755, George Washington's frontier skirmish had turned into a major war. The British decided to take matters more seriously and sent Major General Braddock to North America. General Edward Braddock was a British officer and a commander-in-chief for the 13 colonies. When Braddock arrived from England, he marched his army towards Fort Duquesne in western Pennsylvania. Fort Duquesne was a fort established by the French. The French were prepared to fight and had enlisted many Indian tribes in their cause. Braddock and his men were ambushed by 250 French soldiers joined by 640 Indian warriors. Nearly a thousand British soldiers were killed, including Edward Braddock. Over the next couple years, the British continued to lose countless battles against the French. Their turning point in the war came when the British asked William Pitt to take over war operations. William Pitt was British Secretary of State during the French and Indian War and later served as Prime Minister of Great Britain. Pitt believed control of North America was critical to England as a world power. Pitt committed more troops to the war. He also gave control of recruitment and supplies to local authorities and colonies and promised to pay them for their work. The British had actually started to win wars and finally captured Fort Duquesne and Niagara. They also captured French cities of Quebec and finally Montreal. The war expanded globally, with battles in the Caribbean, Austria, Persia, and India. The British captured the French sugar islands Martinique and Guadeloupe. They also invaded Spanish Cuba. In the end of 1762, Spain and France had surrendered. In 1763, the Treaty of Paris was signed. The Treaty of Paris ended the French and Indian War between Great Britain and France, as well as all their respective allies. 
In terms of the treaty, France gave up all its territory in the mainland of North America. This ended any foreign military threat to the British colonies.